This is Gabriel Gonzalez for Cage Side Press here with Juan Archuleta, who at Bellator 279 will be competing for the Interim Bantamweight Championship. Uh, Juan, talk to me a little bit. I mean, there was quite the exchange up there with Rofion. Just is this personal? Is this a guy who's annoying you, or is it just another fight? No, for me, I mean, this is just another fight for me. Obviously, I'm under his skin or got some type of uh, annoyance under him for some reason, but it is what it is at this point. I got one goal, and this is winning this tournament, and uh, the first step to winning this tournament is beating whoever comes in front of me first, and it just so happened to be Stotts. Now, I know you guys obviously, look, there's a conflict. we got to sell a fight, this and that. Do you honestly believe that he was ducking his buddy Sergio a little bit? Because you have teammates who fight close to 35, I can imagine you'd imagine what it's like to be, hey, can you, will you fight this guy? Do you feel like he was avoiding that fight a bit? Of course it sucks, right? Like, I obviously understand, but if he wasn't going to fight for the title, who's the clear pitcher to fight for the title? And that's all I said. I said, if you're not fighting for the title, why would I fight you? I would rather fight for the title. I understand you don't want to fight Sergio. So that's all that was said, and he misconstrued it and strung it to a whole completely different realm that I didn't understand. So, now, You're a guy who's bounced around quite a few divisions and done well and won belts and other promotions. I mean, locked into the tournament now, but do you still see bouncing around as being part of your career at this stage of the game? Yeah, I mean, I'm looking to fight the best people in the world, right? Like, I definitely want the Pitbull rematch. Shoot, I'll even fight his brother. I mean, those are good fights. Like, those are legendary fights that you can make happen. And I can fight at 155. I can fight at 145. I mean, shoot, AJ's here. Like, I would love to challenge myself against him. It's not nothing that's personal. It's just, like, we're... we're we always want to know how good we are, right? We want to find the best in every division and fight those type of guys. And, and a guy like AJ, like, yeah, you want to fight guys like that. Like, and if you're not challenging yourself or putting yourself in uncomfortability, then, you know, it's, it's exactly like Rufion is right. Like, he's out there seeking the best, and so am I. Like, I've proven that time and time again. I understand why he wants to fight me, and I want to fight him too. He's a great fighter, right? So, and come fight night, we're going to see that happen. And, you know, going forward, I do see myself bouncing still up and down and throughout weight classes just to see what I'm capable of doing. Are you looking ahead to the field at 135? You got the, you know, Magomed, Magomed out there. You've got Kyoji out there, which we never made happen yet. I mean, are you looking at this and thinking what your dream tournament would be or is it just one at a time? We'll see who, who's there when we get there. Yeah, it's one at a time for me right now. I mean, this is a tough task I got ahead of me right now. And so I got to go and, you know, this this is a fight that makes me nervous. That makes me wake up every morning and go to bed late at night to put everything I, in, uh, I have in, in me to uh, make it a perfect camp. Finally, Juan, how do you get this done in Hawaii? Taking them to deep waters and, you know, just, again, putting all my martial arts together and being the best I could be out there.